I am the most lazy seamstress you'll probably know. In fact, I don't think I'm qualified enough to even call myself that. Today I'm going to try see if I find something to sew on Pinterest and if I can sew it without a pattern. Let's have a scroll on my Pinterest and see if there is something we can perhaps make today. Okay, sewing. Righto. Could do flea pants. Maybe I'll leave that for another day when I can be bothered using knit fabric. I do like these kind of tops here. You see, I love the neckline, but I just don't know how I'm going to sew that while um, being lazy as of yet. Here we go. How about that? Let's try make a skirt. Because, you know, we're in the middle of an apocalypse right now. Uh, New Zealand is on current lockdown. And what's going to save this? Like a nice paper bag skirt. Paper bag? Would you call it that? I don't know. For this skirt, the type of fabric you'd want is either like a cotton poplin, plain cotton, uh, linen, you know, something with a bit of grit to it. Something that's going to hold up like that cute little bit up the top, you know? Because if you did it with a silk or something else, it would just... <clears throat> this is the fabric I'm going to use today if you want to see how sturdy I'm talking. You know, like that's going to hold up. You've got to be lazy, but you've got to think smart too, you know? So things that you'll need for this, a meter of fabric, I'm going to guess a little cheeky bit of elastic, I'm going to go with like a centimeter wide. You're going to need a sewing machine and an overlocker as well, but look, it doesn't matter if you don't have an overlocker, it just might not last as long. Up to you, whatever floats your boat. Uh, preferably an iron, I know I'm lazy, but I'm still going to iron. Pins, measuring tape, you know, just sewing stuff, just have sewing stuff. So here you're gonna try roughly figure out the width of your skirt. So I made it about one and a half times my size, if that makes sense, when it's doubled in half. Then you lay it flat on the ground, get your tape measure out, and then what you wanna do is measure from the, you know, your waist down to your desired length. So for me, it was about just above the knee. And I think that was 25 inches. And then on top of 25 inches, for me, I added an extra, six inches to allow for a hemline and the cute little waistband thing for the paper bag you know the paper baggy kind of look anyway get get chopping and then you've got a rectangle and you're gonna iron that i just blew up the iron somehow and then fold it back in half with the right sides touching overlock the side seam and then 1.5 centimeter apart do it down the side and overlock the top and bottom it's inside out obviously because it's just this rectangle circle thing while it's inside out you're gonna push the pretty side back onto the ugly side by about two centimeters and pin all the way around now when i sew i sew with the press of foot up against the edge of the seam flip it over to the other end of the skirt and this is going to be like the waistband so if Pin it back by three inches and then sew along the raw edge and leave a gap for the elastic. With the edge of the press foot against that last little line we drew, now we're going to do another one with the needle to the side and just cut off some excess little trimmings that you've got there. Mesh your waist with the elastic. Thread the elastic through with a bobby pin because it's super easy and it just comes right round. Once you get it through out the other side, you want to put the two ends together and sew them. Flip it back the right way and there you go. Ta-da! That's it for today. I hope you're all staying safe and staying inside or staying away from people as much as you can. Pretty scary times we're living in, but we just have to make the best out of what is happening at the moment if you like that give it a like give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or are having issues with how i explained how to make this uh, let me know and i'll get back to you probably within an hour see ya